time and work this time posted by just Jodh. it says a piece of work can be completed by 10 men and six women in 18 days men works nine hours per day while women works 7.5 hours per day per hour efficiency of a woman is two-third of a man's efficiency in how many days can 10 men and nine women complete the work right out a piece of work can be completed by 10 men and six women in 18 days Men work 9 hours per day while women work 7.5 hours per day. Per hour efficiency of a woman is two-third of a man's efficiency. In how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? Now look at this. He says a piece of work can be completed by 10 men and 6 women in 18 days. In how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? Now we know that work is equal to number of persons into number of days, right? And they have to do the same work. So I can say 10 men and six women together can do it in 18 days so the same work has to be done by 10 men and nine women how many days will they take into d let's assume the number of days required is d so d is equal to what you're able to follow 10 men and six women can do it in 18 days so 10 men and nine women will do it in how many days now one important point to be noted here is if let's say this was not given men works for nine hours per day while women works for 7.5 hours per day then this equation is correct if we ignore this part see the point is men work for nine hours per day men are working for nine hours per day while women work only for 7.5 hours per day if both of them work for equal number of hours generally what happens i mean it says 10 men and six women can do it in 18 days 10 men and nine women will do it in how many days so the assumption there is they are working for equal number of hours every day either both men and women are working for 24 hours a day or 12 hours a day or 10 hours a day whatever it is so then we can write this equation straight number of persons into number of days number of persons into number of days but since the number of hours for which men work differs from the number of hours per day for which women work this equation does not hold true this will be a wrong equation so the correct work equation here in that case would be 10 men see 18 days is not into 24 hours for both of them or it is not into 12 hours for both of them 10 men are working for 18 days means what? How many hours have they spent per day? 9 hours per day. How many hours have women spent per day? 7.5 hours per day. You are getting it? So what you have to do is, see actually it is like this. 10 men working for 18, 18 days at 9 hours per day. Plus 6 women working for 18 days at 7.5 hours per day. This is the work number of persons into number of days number of days here is actually number of hours because different people are working for different number of hours you should actually not consider number of days you should consider number of hours so number of men into number of hours number of women into number of hours 9 hours per day for 18 days 7.5 hours per day for 18 days then in that case in how many days can 10 men and 9 women do the work now again if 10 men are working they will work for 9 hours per day but for how many days d days likewise if 9 women are working they will work for 7.5 hours per day but for how many days? What has changed now in the equations? The number of women have changed. Earlier we had 10 men, 6 women. Now we have 10 men and 9 women. Right? The number of men remain the same. Number of women has changed. So this is the equation. Work equation. Number of persons into number of days. Original case is this. New case is this. In the new case, number of women have increased. So in how many days will they be able to finish the work? It's obvious that the answer will be less than 18 days. See, when the workforce has increased, the number of days required will be reduced, right? Number of days are inversely proportional to number of persons. The work is constant. You are doing the same work. When you are doing the same work, if the number of persons are increasing, number of days would decrease. So, answer should be less than 18 days. That's a basic understanding. So, you should immediately verify the options. You should immediately verify the options and see if there is any option which is less than 18 days. If there is only one option which is less than 18 days, you can take that as the answer. Or any option which is more than 18 days can be eliminated directly. Now, how will you solve this equation? How will you solve this equation? You will solve the equation based on the per hour efficiency given here. He says per hour efficiency of a woman is two-third of a man's efficiency. So, you know, right? How do we solve this question generally? We compare men with women. He says per hour efficiency of a woman is equal to two-third of a man's efficiency. See, this M and W here are important. What is M? The capacity of man. What is W? The capacity of woman. Ten times the capacity of each man. Because there are 10 men, right? So each man's capacity into 10 times. That's the total capacity. For how many hours? 18 into 9 hours. Similarly, capacity of every woman is W, 6 women. So 6 times the capacity of each woman multiplied by the number of hours per which they work. That will give us the total load. 
Now the statement here says per hour efficiency of a woman is two third of a man's efficiency. Women's efficiency is two third of a man's efficiency. So from this, can I say three women is equal to two men? Yes. Now all you need to do is replace. See, the, the problem can be solved only if it is only in terms of men or only in terms of women. The, the challenge that we have here is we have got a combination of both M and W. You are able to follow. There are two variables here. M and W. M and W. I want only one variable. I want to convert the whole problem only either in terms of men or in terms of women. How will I do that? I will do that based on the efficiency. This is the efficiency equation. So the efficiency says one woman is equal to two thirds of a man. So three women equals to two men. Now understand if three women are equal to two men, six women will be equal to four men. Into two, into two. Six women, four men. Similarly, nine women will be six men. Three women is equal to two men. Multiply by three on both the sides, nine women will be equal to six men. Now what do you see in the previous equation? Everything has been converted to men. So now M is common and it gets cancelled. Yes or no? Earlier, M and W could not be cancelled. But now everything is in terms of M and it gets cancelled. So now you just have to solve the work equation. So W will be equal to what? I mean the equation is this. 10 into 18 into 9 plus 4 into 18 into 7.5 equals 10 into 9 plus 6 into 7.5. These two solve. solve this now. Only numbers. Just play with those numbers. Is there anything common? I think 3 is common everywhere. Actually, I can take 9 common. So 9 into 1, 9 into 2, 9 into 1. This is 9 into 2 by 3. I mean, instead of dividing by 3, I'm dividing by 9. It makes it easy, right? So 9 into 1, 9 into 2, 9 into 1. This is 9 into 2 thirds. Now simplify. So 10 into 18, 180. So this side we have 180 plus 4 into 2 into 7.5. 2 into 7.5 is 15, 15 into 4 is 60. So 180 plus 60 equals 2. This is how much? 2 thirds of 7.5. How much is 2 thirds of 7.5? 5. 5. 7.5 by 3 is 2.5. 2.5 into 2 is 5. 5 plus 10. 10 plus 5 into D. Solve. So 240 by 15. D will be equal to 240 divided by 15. How much is that? 16 days. 240 by 15 is 16. So 16 days is the answer to this question. Please do not go by the length of the explanation. It was explanation. It was not the solution, right? When you do it yourself, you will solve it much faster. The only important point to be noted here is, since men and women spend different number of hours per day, you should consider it as number of work as number of persons into number of hours, not number of persons into number of days. Generally, the number of hours are equal for both of them. So we say number of men into number of days, number of women into number of days. But here, time should not be in days. Time should be in hours because they're spending different number of hours per day. And very easily he is given the efficiency relationship, right? One woman is two thirds of a man. Replace that. Use that equation to replace, uh, to, ch to change the equation either fully in terms of men or fully in terms of women. So that you can do the cancellations and then find out the answer. So 16 days is the answer to this question. I hope all of you have followed this.